those of us that celebrate, I thought that we should make an Easter craft since we're not in school to do so. So today's activity that we're going to do is we're going to make a paper bunny. So all we need for the activity is we need construction paper, probably two pieces, and then we need crayons for our facial features of the bunny, scissors, and either tape or glue, whatever you have. So why don't we go ahead, you can pause the video and you can get materials. I'm going to keep my finished product right here. All right, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and grab our first piece of paper. I'm going to angle the computer down so you guys can see what I'm doing. So here is my first piece of paper. This is going to be our bunny ears. So you're going to take one hand. The hand that you should be using on the paper is going to be your non-writing hand. So I'm gonna, you're going to grab your crayon, your marker, your colored pencil, and you're going to trace the outline of your hand. So it's really important that you go nice and slow so that way we get each finger. Nice job. And then you can go around to where your wrist is. And we need to do that one more time. So if you notice, the way that I'm holding the crayon is my thumb and my index finger, my pointer finger, are going to be connected on top of the crayon. And then your middle finger is going to be at the bottom of the crayon. And your ring and index finger are going to be tucked in your pinky. So we are going to do that one more time. So just find some um, room on your piece of paper. And we're going to trace that same hand again. I find it's easier just to keep tracing your non-writing hand because I have more control when I use my writing hand. Okay. So your finished product should look something like this. So as you can see, I have two hands. Oops. One, two. So let's go ahead and cut those out. So why don't you pause the video and you can cut out those pieces of paper. And when you're ready, you can press play and join me. So now we need another piece of paper. And this is going to be our head. So we need, we're going to start at the bottom of the paper and we're going to draw a circle coming up and around and then connecting at the bottom. Okay, so we have our head. While we have our piece of paper down here, I'm going to add my facial features on. So you can make your eyes however you want them to be. I'm going to make my eyes look like this. And then I'm going to grab another crayon. I'm going to do a pink nose. So a nice big circle. And let's color it in. And then I'm going to do whisker. So I'm going to do three lines coming off of the nose. And then three lines coming from the other side. So it should look something like that. Now to make our mouth, I'm going to draw a little line going down and then a half circle. So it should look something like this. So now that we have our facial features on, why don't you go ahead and cut out the circle. So when we cut out our circle, it's going to look something like this. Alright, so pause the video and go ahead and cut out your circle. So now that we have our ears and our circle cut out, we need to put the ears behind the head. So if you want to just lay your head on the table, lay your two hands, you're going to put 
you're gonna put the hand down and I took some tape so I'm just gonna put my head on top of the ear and I'm gonna tape them both together so I'll do it one more time for you so I place my hand down and then I'm gonna place my head on top and tape it so that that way they connect so now we, that we have our ears and we have our head we just need to do a cute little inner ear piece. You can use either the color that you use your hands with or your face with. And all that you're gonna do is you are gonna make a line going across and then a half circle. We're gonna do that two times. So a line going across, half circle. So they should look something like that. So why don't you, put, you can cut those two out. Once you cut them out, they should look something like this. So then you're gonna put them in the middle of your hands or the ear and tape it down or glue it down. And when you're done, your finished product should look like this. So now we're all ready and decorated for Easter. Hope you enjoy.